Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 46.5 of Just Lying Around Game Preview, a Detroit Lions podcast presented by the World of Football. I'm your host, Kyle Sutherland, and on today's show, I'm going to do a more in-depth preview of the Lions vs. Colts game, uh, talking about injury report, PFF, and some things to look out for the Lions to hopefully win this game. So pretty uh, quiet injury report for both teams. we got Lions. Uh, surprise injury here. Quarterback Ennis Rakestraw Jr. Uh, he had a hamstring pop up on Friday. Did not practice, so he will miss this game. Uh, cornerback Terion Arnold, groin injury popped up Thursday with a limited practice, but a full practice on Friday is questionable at the moment, uh, but I expect him to be out there for this game. Uh, also, we have cornerback Emmanuel Mosley. Uh, he had a pectoral injury. He was on IR. Um, they opened up his 21-day uh, practice window there, and um, Dan Campbell was asked about it for his uh, press conference and said, hopefully we would like to get Emmanuel Mosley out there. Um, so um, it all depends on how Dan Campbell feels. Uh, no need to rush him out there right now. Um, would like to see him more at the end of the season uh, playoff run there if we can, but um, don't be surprised to see him out there this week. Now, we also had tight end Sam Laporta. He missed last week with a shoulder injury. He did a full practice all this week and is good to go for this game. We also have defensive tackle Broderick Martin. He is off of IR and is on the roster. Um, probably will see him as a inactive for this game for the next couple of games um, as he gears up more um, for the end of the run for the Lions here. On the Colts side, um, pretty quiet for them as well. Left tackle Bernard uh, Raymond, knee injury, did not practice all week and is out uh, this game. And we also have right tackle uh, Braden Smith, foot injury, uh, limited practice on Friday. Probably will be a game time decision. Um, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Um, also, a no no couple um, notable people for the Colts. We have center Ryan Cal Kelly and offensive guard Will Fries. Uh, they both were starting linemen for the Colts, and both those guys are on IR as right now. So looks like their starting linemen um, for the Colts are kind of banged up here. So um, we'll have to see how the Lions do pressuring the quarterback and getting a couple tackles here against them. So PFF grades, Lions overall first, offensive side second, and defensive side second ranked. Uh, so they're really humming right now, um, top of the league here. For the Colts side, overall they're 15th. Offensive side, they're 21st. And uh, defensive side, they're 12th, so a little... Um, better than the Jaguars last week on their defensive side. We'll have to see how that uh, pans out for them uh, for this game here. Uh, keys to winning this game, Lions offensive side of the ball. Uh, we have a healthy O-line. Um, I think the test for them will be the front four for the Colts. Uh, they got a couple big-name guys there. Uh, you're looking at... Um, uh, let's see here. Latu, Forrest Buckner, Jerome Payne, uh, a couple big names there uh, for the Colts. So I think this our offensive line should hold them pretty well. Um, if the running backs for the Lions can get to the second level of the Colts defense, uh, then, then it should be a pretty easy game for them. Um, their linebackers are not ranked very high in their as long as, as well as their safety crew there, so um, could see a couple big runs out of uh, Gibbs. Hopefully, uh, a couple of long runs for him. I know he's been very close to getting those uh, big, huge runs there for touchdowns. So uh, we could see a couple of those this game. Uh, cornerbacks for the Colts—they rank pretty fair 
are pretty good. Um, but their linebacker safety crew should give the Lions a good day for the Lions wide receiver tight end crew. Uh, we're talking about St. Brown, Laporta, Williams, um, even uh, Patrick there. Um, so, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty easy day for the Lions offense there. Lions defensive side of the ball. Uh, Anthony Richardson is a big person. He likes to run sort of that Josh Allen sort of uh, body type there. Um, so we need to make sure we squeeze the pocket around Richardson. Don't allow him to escape and run for um, a lot of yards this game. Um, take it back to the Cardinals game when they kind of held Kyler Murray into check there. That's what they need to do to this game as well. Um, their offensive line, like I said earlier, is kind of banged up. A lot of second stringers in there, so... Hopefully we see a lot of pressures and maybe a couple more sacks out of the front four for the Lions. Um, this is the second week for Zadarius Smith to get acclimated um, with this defensive uh, crew there. So we'll see if he does a little better this game than last game. Record a couple more sacks there. Um, also, Anzalone is out six to eight weeks, so... Um, that's another piece of the puzzle. Aaron Glenn needs to figure out how the linebacker crew for the Lions are going to fare. Um, probably see a lot of uh, Ben Neiman out there. Um, f uh, for Anzalone, um, he, so far he's done pretty well. So uh, we'll have to see that on the defensive side. Just um, so. Watching this game, just be on the lookout for that, how the Lions will do for the linebacker crew there. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this show today and come back for more. Be sure to check out the World of Football website, www.theworldoffootball.com, for news links, upcoming events, original articles, videos, and more. If you want to get in touch with Randy and Adam, send them a link or email to info at theworldfootball.com or you can contact them by either liking the World of Football on Facebook or follow the World of Football X account. Uh, those links will be in the episode description. Be, to, be sure to check out uh, their flagship show the World this week in the World of Football, um, which drops new episodes every Tuesday. You can find that on the podcast feed and on the YouTube channel. Um, again, links down in the description. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we will see you on the next episode after the Lions vs. Colts with hopefully a Lions victory. Um, this one is kind of up in the air right now. I have a... I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say that this is a lockdown victory for the Lions, but I have a good feeling that the Lions will win this game. Um, so, yep. Go Lions, and thanks for watching.